cosy. I like lean in even a fraction more. <laughs> Just sit on Victoria's back. <laughs> Just watch the studded knee. Oh, what a shocker. <laughs> okay, yep. Right, let's that go. That a good start. Ready? I'm always ready. Hi there, it's Victoria Pizzolatto. And Ian Dawson from Cunnagar Estate Agents. And we're here with Natalie Fry from M2 Property Presentation. Natalie, thank you ever so much for joining us today. Welcome, Natalie. Thank you. Thanks for having me. It's an absolute pleasure. And for us, we just want to get a little bit more of a, an insider look at what it is you do for our vendors out there. Can you tell us a little bit about what it is you do? Sure. Um, M2 is a styling company that's basically been set up to uh, help vendors get their properties to be presented at their absolute best so that they can get the maximum possible price at auction. So whether it's a partial style with people living there and working with their existing bits and pieces and just adding a few um, you know, cushions, accessories, artwork, or whether it's actually working with a completely vacant property, um, property styling basically can really maximise what people can get for their property at auction. It's such a big asset oh, for them to have 100%. that by getting the by trying to motivate buyers to pay a premium price is what we're all about. No, and I think uh, your work speaks for itself, certainly here at Carlton Crescent. And I think uh, what, a, what a great transformation we've had here! Wow. And can you give us a bit of an explanation on the steps that are that you undertake to get from when we first introduced you to the property to where we are here now, completely done? Yeah, sure. Well, this <clears throat> this one here um, in Summer Hill was a really good example of a before and after. So it was a completely vacant property that we initially viewed. Um, it hadn't had any of the makeover in terms of painting or um, handiwork that was done, so that made a huge difference. But often when it's a vacant property, it can feel a little bit cold. Um, and by dressing it and filling it with furniture and all of the colour and accessories, it really brings the place to life and adds enormous warmth um, as well as all of the colour. And um, another really good thing about dressing and styling a vacant property is that rooms, people will have a difficult time trying to judge, for example, with a bedroom, will they be able to fit a double bed in there if it's a smaller sized room? So by actually setting it up as a bedroom, not only do you create that wow factor and have it look gorgeous for the photos and for the opens, but it will clearly demonstrate to people that yes, a double bed fits in there beautifully, or if it's an open plan space, for example, like it is here, um, often buyers will be a little bit confused as to how best that can be laid out. And how to fill that space as well, yeah. Yeah, that's right. So by setting it up, you're basically giving them a demonstration of the best possible layout of that space. And you can work with making sure that there's a really lovely flow throughout the property. Um, and even just the simple things like working with existing colours that are in the property. So if there's jade green tiles in the bathroom, for example, then you'd work with that and bring in a little colour palette that worked worked together and so you had some cohesion throughout the property. Well, I, uh, I think what you're uh, clearly stating there is it's about the emotional attachment with the buyer, making sure that they can see themselves living in that home. And, you know, I definitely believe you've done a great job here. Um, so can we ask, what is, a, what is an in colour? Obviously things change all the time and we have seasonal colours. Do, what's the colour palette of this season? What's hot right now, basically? What's hot right now? <laughs> um, at the moment, obviously it does change, as you said, seasonally, and there's lots of fads and fashions that come and go. At the moment, there's a lot of pastel um, colours that are being used, and you can see by all of these recent um, house magazines, it's all about pastels. So that's the latest kind of hot thing at the moment. Okay. But I think, more importantly, it's really crucial that... Um, that vendors think about, as we were talking about before, what colours are already there. Mm. So if they are going, going to be working with their existing furnishings, then I would also try and reduce the colour palette. Okay, that's so, interesting. Yeah, so if it's always going to look at its absolute best and uh, styled beautifully, if you just pick two or three colours to work with and have a flow that goes right throughout the house as opposed to having what most people do when they build up, especially if they've been living there for a while, you build up naturally a collection of different bits and pieces and a lot of colour gets brought in. So by reducing the colour palette and simplifying that, um, it helps enormously. It's certainly one of those things of less is more. Yes. It definitely pays. Pays. Yes. 
Absolutely. I think that's an absolutely fantastic tip for anybody watching out there. And I guess a lot of people are going to be asking, what else can I do? How can I really maximize the value? Have you got some three hot tips for the, for the people out there as to how they can maybe prepare their property for sale? Yeah, sure, Ian. Um, the number one thing is not going to be a surprise to your viewers, <laughs> and that is to a big clean and a big declutter. So I know it gets talked about a lot, but we can't stress enough how important that is to just really simplify things right down. It's very difficult for buyers, or for homeowners, I think, to view their property from the buyer's point of view, through buyer's eyes. But if you can do a really good clean, a really good declutter, and just any of those odd little jobs that have been on the to-do list for six months, like we all have, um, yeah. if you can get to those, then that will help enormously. So it's just all about doing something like that is going to help you get the maximum possible price at the end at auction. Another thing that we can do that really helps a lot, and homeowners, is, it's something that they can do easily themselves, is have a look at each room in the house and how best that can be utilised to make it an asset to the home. So if there's a bedroom, for example, that has become over the years more of an ironing room and a storage room, um, I know we grew up having one of those rooms. <laughs> I think we've all got one in our yeah. homes. <laughs> Somewhere under there it was a guest room and it just kind of ended up getting utilised for, for other purposes, more so for guests. So if you can actually take the time to clear that out and have it set up as how it could best be used to add value to the property. So, yeah. and if there isn't already a bed in the bedroom, then it can be a simple case of it's an inexpensive thing to hire a bed and a couple of bedside tables and lamps and set that up as a bedroom, you know that that will just add enormous, right. yeah, enormous value to the property where people can actually see it's a three bedroom home, there's three bedrooms there. Okay, so in the, uh, the top three we've got the, the declutter and the clean and I think we all know that that's a great idea. We've got make sure we plan out the home You're right, accordingly. That's only two tips. And last but not least, I guess it's the colour filtration. Yes. Cut down those colours and make sure you're only using just the, the bare minimum. Yeah, I think by reducing more... yeah, reducing the colour palette does make a huge difference. Um, it can be a little bit overwhelming and look a little bit uh, all over the shop when there's a million different colours there. So simplifying that right down, just working with two <laughs> or three colours can really add a, a little bit more of a premium look to the property. And it'll not only look good for when um, buyers come and view the property, but also for the photographs. Which and your videos as well, which we're doing a lot yeah. more of now. Yeah, photographs and videos, that's what's going to get the maximum possible amount of buyers to come and view the property. When they see that online and see how spectacular it looks online, that will help get them in the door. I mean, I mean that's exactly what we want to do. The more people through the door, obviously competition breeds great results and that's what we try and achieve every day. Optimum price. Motivating buyers to pay the absolute premium price. We want them fighting for it at auction. Well, I think this has been uh, a fantastic uh, little insight. Into very much enlightening. <laughs> We've all learned something today, haven't we? <laughs> and hopefully you all have too. So uh, thanks very much, Natalie. Thanks for asking Thank me to come you. along. And uh, next, stay tuned. We'll probably uh, see you around and, and show you what, uh, what Natalie's got up her sleeve for the next property. Thank you. Thanks very much. Bye. Thanks. Bye.